guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be wiring up the Digitrack signal lights. So there's the green light, so let's get started. Alright, so I've got everything laid out on the table now. I've got the lights, these are the, the connectors and the mounting hardware. And we've got the cable here. I've already put one plug on the cable. I mean, I really like this, this system from Digitrack where it's just so simple now to wire up the lights. So I'll just take a quick look at the Digitrack wiring diagram here and uh, what's important to remember is you keep the brown wire in the same orientation when you go to wire the signal lights up. So it's a simple matter of putting the connector on and wiring up the light orientated to the way that you need it, just like the diagram. Something else I really like about the Digitrack light system is you can just cut off the mask right there and just retain the light base and allows you to use these contact tabs here to solder another signal light on. It makes it nice and convenient still to wire. You can still use their plug system and it's nice and simple. Okay, so we're over at the SE8C now and you can see the eight plugs here for the signal lights. I've already plugged in one cable. Now you, you need to orientate the cable a certain way and you can see the brown wire here at the top and I've orientated the plug correctly so the wire comes out this way. So when it comes to the other side you can see how the orientation of the wires is still the same but you reverse the connector to have the wire going that way. So when it came time to uh, start mounting the light, so I drilled a big hole in the table thinking I would be bringing it in down this way like that. What came apparent is the, because this is end scale, the light has to be mounted quite low. So instead now I'm just going to be just drilling a hole and coming up from the underneath. So here's just a quick shot of all the lights switched on now. Um, everything seems to be working properly. So to change the color of the LED lights, what we do is we throw a switch command, the same way you'd do a turnout or a point. So on the DCS you just we go switch, 275, and then you can just open and close it, changing the color of the LED. So if I go to 273, there it is changing the top one. And if I just go to, say, one more 276, there I'm getting flashing yellow, solid yellow. So that's that's how you change the uh, the colors of the lights. All right, so all the signals are now wired up. I have a couple of extras uh, if I wanted to go back and do some more. Now this works fine when you throw the switches, the lights go back and forth. But of course that's all manual. So this board is actually quite limited. If you you actually need to have an interface with a computer to uh, reach the full potential of what this board can do for you. Okay, so the signal lights are all wired up now and working correctly. So where to now? Well, I need to start plugging the PR3 now to the laptop and I'm considering what software I'm going to buy to, to start automating this layout. So the next video now is going to be an interface between the, the layout now and uh, the computer. So I guess that's the end of this video, so thanks for watching.